Dr. Sam, we are assembled for the commencement ceremony to begin. Thank you, Ms. Grace and Professor Diffenbach for the wonderful rendition of America the Beautiful. Good morning. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our spring 2020 graduates. We were hoping that by now we'll be able to celebrate with you in person. But as you know, the pandemic is still on. We are still wearing masks and maintaining social distance. So we are gathered here today, virtually, in a formal ceremony to recognize you for persevering through an unprecedented time to earn your degrees and certificates by way of hard work, determination, passion, and resilience. Among you are 28 Accelerate College students who simultaneously completed your high school requirements while attending ECC full-time. These students are noted in the program and are students from Cambridge Lakes, Dundee Crown, Hampshire, Jacobs, St. Charles East, St. Charles North High Schools. Your family members and friends share this special day with you. You have worked towards this goal through their guidance, support, and encouragement that helped you through the toughest moments. The Community College District 509 Board of Trustees provides resources and leadership that enable us to meet our responsibilities to student success in an environment that is open and innovative. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the members of the ECC Board of Trustees. Dr. Donna Redma, Chair, Class of 76. Ms. Jennifer Rakow, Vice Chair. Mr. Jeffrey Meyer, Secretary. Mr. John Duffy. Dr. Candice McCrary. Mr. Shane Nowak, Class of 2002. Dr. Claire Oleos. Ms. Taylor Vitaco, the current student trustee. And Ms. Abigail Swick, past student trustee of the college. Graduates, our esteemed faculty taught you, supported you, and ultimately instilled you with the knowledge and experience you needed to reach this point. We are fortunate to have a truly outstanding faculty, as well as dedicated administrators and staff who provide support to students outside the classroom. The faculty members are led by Professor Kimberly Tava, President of the Faculty Association. Thank you for all you do for our students and our community. Now, it is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Donna Redma 
Chair of District 509 Board of Trustees to bring you greetings. Good morning to the unrelented class of May 2020. You did it. On behalf of District 509 Board of Trustees, I celebrate you for a job well done. When you started your last semester at the beginning of this year, none of you could have imagined how your plans would become so drastically impacted by circumstances beyond your control. Suddenly, faced with unthinkable challenges and obstacles, everything changed on your journey to get to this moment. Like you, we had this special day all planned out. The date of your ceremony, the time, the location, the format, we envisioned an auditorium filled with your classmates, family, and friends. We counted down the days for the opportunity to cheer you on in person, excited to see you walk across the stage, shake our hand, and smile for the camera. But if there's anything we have learned in this pandemic, it is to adapt to make every moment count. Just as COVID-19 could not stop you from reaching your goals, it was not going to stop us from publicly acknowledging your hard work and your perseverance. So here we are today as a result of your determination with your classmates, family, and friends. And we are just as proud. You will all go down in history, not only because you have earned your degrees and certificates under unusual circumstances, but because like a true Spartan, you refuse to quit in spite of those circumstances. And I'm not sure what your future holds, but however, I am certain that with an ECC education, you are positioned well for the next chapter of your lives. As you move forward, may I offer some advice. Remember what your faculty taught you. Cherish your loved ones. Take one day at a time and never stop learning. Congratulations to all of you. We wish you success in all your future endeavors. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Colleen Stribling. Associate Professor II of English as a Second Language and the 2020 Oren G. Thompson Teaching Excellence Full-Time Faculty Award recipient. Welcome, Dr. Stribling. Thank you for inviting me here today to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020. I am honored to represent my colleagues, the faculty at ECC, at this graduation ceremony. My name is Colleen Stribling. I am an associate professor of English as a Second Language, and I have to honestly say that I have the best job in the world. Every day I work with adult immigrants from around the globe and help them build their English skills. They come with unique talents and histories. They come determined to make a better life for themselves and their families. As a teacher, I am blessed because they are all motivated to learn as they know that the language was instrumental in their future success. I share my experience because for the faculty, the students at Elgin Community College, and especially you, the graduating class of 2020, are what motivate us every day as we accompany you on your journey to your future goals and success. As faculty, we genuinely feel fortunate to be part of your story as you begin your careers or as you transition to university to complete your degrees. This has been a historic year. Since March, according to everything we have read or heard, we are living through unprecedented times. As a class, I'm sure many of you struggled as we quickly shifted our work to online in the spring. But we are here today to celebrate your strength and determination despite the challenges to successfully complete your programs. I applaud your efforts and believe that this spirit of facing challenge and finding ways to succeed not only was instrumental in your current success, it will also be critical to your success in the future. As we continue to adapt to our new normal, I wanna share with you a few lessons that I have learned through my studies and my career. I can remember sitting in a folding chair at graduation, 
happy to have completed my degree, but uncertain of where my future would lead me. I was an expert at being a student, but I was certainly a novice at mapping out my journey. So although my expertise is just a testament to time, I wanna share what I have learned along the way. First, in life and your career, you will continue to face challenges, perhaps not as unexpected as a pandemic, but you will encounter many in your journey. Face these challenges positively. Face them as an opportunity to learn and innovate. Instead of lamenting the change, find creative solutions that, which will enrich your environment and enhance your future. Change might sometimes be frightening, but change is inevitable. It is your positive reaction to each change that will guarantee your success. Second, say yes to opportunities. I honestly believe that I am standing here today because I have been willing to say yes to new challenges. In my career, when I was offered the opportunity to take on a project or a new market, present in front of my peers, or write or pilot a new course, I always stepped up to the challenge. I did this even though I'm not really a very confident person by nature. Oftentimes, I was stepping out of my comfort zone and I was not sure of my success, but I said yes. A colleague, Kim Tarver, has a quote on her email by John Shedd that I think illustrates this idea. A ship in a harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. Be willing to move out of the harbor, because if you do, you will find the route that you are meant to take in life. Finally, be prepared and open to detours on your road to success. I'm sure you have a route in mind, but if your path is similar to mine, it certainly will not be straight. I have faced many curves to get where I am today, and having the resilience to face challenges and adjust to these changes has been the key to success. I love languages, so I started my career in Bogota in market research. Since then, I've imported goods from Japan, organized trade shows in Europe, raised my children, uh, volunteered as a literacy tutor, and then finally I went back to school to study adult education. In each move, there were bumps on the route that I had to navigate, but managing each challenge prepared me for my future role. Today, with your certificate or degree in hand, you are starting down a new path as a 2020 graduate. As you navigate the bumps in the road, I am certain that you will engage, emerge stronger and more prepared for your future curves because of this unprecedented journey. In closing, I wanna congratulate you once again. We are so proud to call you graduates of Elgin Community College and we know you will continue to succeed and make a difference in our community. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Abigail Swick, former student trustee. Abigail Swick of Elgin is a former student trustee at Elgin Community College. A graduate of Sycamore High School in Illinois, Swick earned an Associate of Science degree at ECC and is now working towards a bachelor's degree in molecular biology at University of Illinois, Chicago. At ECC, Swick was involved in the college's forensics team and worked with the talent search program by tutoring and advising middle school students in an after-school program. Additionally, as student trustee, she partnered with several members of the college to evaluate policy and expand students' connections to the administration and faculty to further improve processes and remove barriers to student success. Please welcome Abigail Swick. Congratulations to Elgin Community College's graduating class of 2020. I'm gonna begin this speech with a parable written by my favorite author, David Foster Wallace. Two young fish are swimming in the ocean when they pass by another older fish. The older fish says to them, good morning boys, how's the water? The two young fish continue to swim on for a moment until eventually one of them looks at the other and says, what the hell is water? Now, I'm obviously not a wise old fish here to explain to you much younger fish what water is. 
If someone asked me to give the speech for my high school graduation, I would have absolutely said no. Partly because I never really loved high school the way I love ECC, but mostly because it sounds scary. Even though we're going virtual and I'm not standing in front of thousands of people, it still feels possible that everyone is looking at me. Something I learned at ECC is the courage not to be overcome by that feeling. Yes, I learned things related to my future degree, but mostly I learned a little more about being conscious. Or in the case of the fish, oftentimes the most important realities are the ones we have trouble seeing or are difficult to talk about. You may have heard people say that Education is not about what you learn, that education is about teaching you how to learn and how to think. But uh, we probably don't want to believe that before we enrolled at ECC, we didn't know how to think. Perhaps the idea stretches further. In order to be a great welder, educator, nurse, engineer, scientist, or wherever your ECC education is going to take you, learning how to think and exercising control over what we think and choose to pay attention to is rooted to the ultimate meaning of our education. ECC has been our starting place where we become conscious and learn to pay attention to the world and construct our own meaning from experience. Being around all of these amazing people and attending classes at ECC gives me a greater compassion for life. When I'm driving and somebody cuts me off, my initial reaction, like many of us, is to be angry, maybe curse about the person's non-fuel efficient car, insisting that they are driving horribly and it's really a great inconvenience to me. But perhaps the person who's driving is someone from my class, a father, and his son was just badly hurt and really he needs help and it's me who's in his way. Sometimes it feels that the world does revolve around you, as socially repulsive as it can sound. It can be hard to admit when we feel this way, but our education has given us the ability to choose to choose whether or not we are gonna make the world about us and succumb to the never-ending internal monologue that we all have in our heads. ECC was not a stepping stone to be used to get closer to your future goals and passions. It's where we found them, where you learn from being part of a real community that reflects the region that it serves. That's why I'm speaking, because the value of ECC is more important than my fear of standing before you. It is hard to see the real value of an education which can sometimes have nothing to do with knowledge and everything to do with being aware, even to the things hidden in plain sight. And as Foster Wallace concludes his parable, so hidden in plain sight that we have to keep reminding ourselves over and over that this is water. It is now my pleasure to introduce David Davin, Executive Director of Institutional Advancement and the ECC Foundation. Today we celebrate another milestone of success in your educational and career journeys. And while you may think that today marks the end of your relationship with Elgin Community College, I'm here to tell you that we're just getting started. I'm David Davin, Executive Director of Institutional Advancement and the ECC Foundation. Part of my role at ECC is to ensure that your experience as a proud ECC alumni is just as meaningful as your time as a student has been. You see, our commitment to you does not end now that you are graduating. It is just beginning. As you continue along your educational and or career journeys, you will find us by your side to help with college or career advising, job opportunities, continued access to our ECC library, and much more. You'll also have the opportunity to give back by mentoring ECC students, volunteering, and even contributing to future ECC scholars. Most ECC students, like yourself, report high satisfaction with the quality of education they received here at ECC. The relationships you have built with ECC faculty, fellow students, staff, and administrators will often continue for years to come, and our Alumni Relations Office will be keeping you in the loop about upcoming events, career opportunities, and opportunities to connect with other alumni and continue to expand your network. As an ECC alumni, you'll see that the benefits of an ECC education don't stop after you leave the classroom. But to take advantage of all ECC has to offer to you as an alum, we'll need you to stay in touch. Make sure you visit elgin.edu slash alumni and provide us with your contact information and see all the ways you can get involved right now. ECC alumni have done some amazing things from building successful companies from the ground up to attending some of the world's most prestigious educational institutions and achieving the highest honors. With your ECC credential in hand, the world is wide open to you. 
We'll help you achieve all you hope and dream of with a little help from the place you love. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now go out there and make us proud. Graduates, it's customary for the college president to speak with you at the beginning of your academic journey and at the end, at commencement. I hope I had the opportunity to talk with you at the student convocation a year or two ago, or somewhere along the line, I was able to interact with you. If I wasn't able to, at least you hear me at this commencement with my short message to you. You went through probably the most difficult time in the history of the world for people living today. You survived the pandemic, and additionally, you continued with your education, and now you are here. I can tell you this. You can overcome any obstacles because of the time that you've been able to spend this past semester. I encourage you to continue education. Don't stop because the challenges out there require you to have more skills. One of the topics that has become very prominent this past summer has been racial and social justice. The college is doing its best to educate everyone on the effects of these needs for our societies. But I want to challenge you. In your own way, in your own small corner, I want you to shine a bright light on this issue so that you can help others that need assistance. Your education has allowed you to do that. Another point that is very critical is the fact that we as citizens should not be bystanders. We should participate in the democratic process. And the first major step in that direction is to register to vote. In fact, it's one of the requirements from Congress for colleges to encourage people to register to vote. Now that you have completed, you can compete. That is a phrase I use often at the college, that you have to complete to compete. So I know you'll be able to compete out there. Let me give you a small assignment. Now that you don't have any term papers and other things to do, I want you to take a piece of paper and write a thank you note for your favorite professor. And I don't want you to do it online as a text or a Twitter or something. I want you to do it old school style and put it in an envelope and write the name of the professor and make a care of Elgin Community College, Elgin, Illinois. And there is a place, some of you may not be aware of it, but it's been in the news, the post office. And you can buy a stamp, which is very inexpensive. And if you don't want to go to the post office to buy the stamp, you can go to Jewel or you can go to Office Max and buy the stamp, put it on, and mail it to the professor, telling them you appreciate the time you spent in their class. That will be very good for you so that you maintain your network with the professor. At this juncture, what I usually do at commencement is to come down to where the students are sitting and share a little bit more information about you. I know that this class, spring 2020, we had some students who studied accounting. And so for family members, if you need your taxes done, 
These individuals can help you. Automotive technology program. If your car is not working, I can tell you, we have an ECC graduate from class of 2020 that can fix your car. Business, clinical lab technology, the people who take your blood and help you in the hospital, criminal justice, dental assistant, dental office aid. When you go to the dentist, all those nice people who are nice to you, they are ECC graduates. Early childhood education, yes, the kiddos. We've graduated some people who will be working at our child development centers in the area. Graphic designs, human services. You go to the social agencies, we have ECC graduates. These people will be going there. Can I forget HVAC? Heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Gee, it is already cold. Well, we have people who can fix your air conditioning and heating services so that you are never too cold or never too hot. Nursing. I can tell you, you go to any of the hospitals in our district, ask them, where did you go to school? And it would be ECC. And we have some graduates from this class there. Restaurant management, web design, welding. All of us depend upon welding. You have a cell phone, there are welding parts in it. You drive a car, welding. The chair that you are sitting on has welding parts. So as you can see, and these are just a few examples of the programs that this class has produced for our community. Additionally, we have several students who are transferring to four-year universities. We say that wherever you want to go, ECC can get you there. Northern Illinois University. We send more students to NIU than any college in the state. Roosevelt, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. This class has people who are going there. University of Illinois in Chicago. We have someone who is going to the US Military Academy, West Point. We have students going to Amherst, Purdue, Illinois State, Eastern Illinois University, University of Iowa, Judson, right in town, Aurora University, DuPaul, and Marquette, and many, many more colleges. So we say that, hey, you want to go to a certain university? Come here for two years, and then you'll be able to transfer to the institution of your choice. Again, another thing I do with students at commencement is I want to know how many of their graduates were first in their families to graduate from college. And very often, we get a large number of people. So congratulations to all of you. And we always salute our vets. Thank you for your service to our nation and thank you for returning to school and coming to Elgin Community College. We also recognize our students who took part in sports. Thank you for representing ECC. Many students participated in clubs and organizations, student government. Thank you, you've learned skills that will be very useful for the rest of your lives. And many of our students held on to jobs. Some of them were full-timers, and some of them were part-timers, and they went to school, and they've succeeded. Congratulations to you. Last but not least, several of our students are often parents, caretakers, in addition to holding down jobs and then coming to school. We congratulate you for the variety of things that you do. That's why this day is so special for all of us, because we know what you've gone through. 
Let me conclude. This morning, I leave you with a poem once posted on the wall of Mother Teresa's orphanage in Calcutta called Do It Anyway. And I say this at every commencement. People are often unreasonable, illogical, self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you may win false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you've got anyway. You see, in a final analysis, it's between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. I hope her words will inspire you to keep learning and achieving. Congratulations, class of 2020. We have now arrived at the central moment in this ceremony, the awarding of degrees and certificates to students who have met the academic degree and certificate requirements established by the faculty of their respective programs or discipline. Their names are listed in the program. We will now present the candidates for the Associate in Arts, Associate in Fine Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Engineering Science, Associate in Liberal Studies, Associate of Applied Science, Vocational Specialist Certificate, Basic Vocational Specialist Certificate. Hilda Almanza. Evangeline F. Anderson. Lizette Bariga. Eloisa J. Basilio. Devin Mitchell Benvenuti. Seth C. Brophy. Connor J. Cahill. Myra Karashure, Maria T. Cesares, Juan C. Chavez, Jessica Corona, Christian Quelar, Juliana Dianda, Judith Facio. Nisha M. Flanagan Odoms. Cynthia J. Flowers. Ann K. Frida. Hunter K. Fredrickson. Tajune Glass. Vanessa Gomez. Erica F. Haynes, Brittany M. Hedrick, Biane Hernandez, Isabella Hernandez, Jake Min 
Hoang. Melanie J. Isabel. Tegan D. Ivy. Angel Marie Jacoby. Leslie Jimenez. Perry Kautz. Lisa M. Kelly. Jacqueline Korwitz. Michelle L. Kohlert. Sean T. Kupinski. Megan Lentine. Vanessa Ann Lupke. Evelyn Maldonado. Fatima Zachariah Mania. Kayla M. Ney. Jocelyn Guadalupe Michelle. Gabrielle V. Malone. Sophia Montoya. Guadalupe Yasmin Moreno. Brianna Myers. Claudine Myers. Mackenzie Nemitz. Lindsay M. Norden. Richard K. O'Hara. Kua Utamonk Palmerin. Kea Myershandra Patel. Adrian Perez. Samuel Perez. Paige Politowitz. Amanda Risho. Elizabeth S. Riedel. Natalie Riggins. Catherine Rivera. Catherine M. Ruales Tischer. Alexis Jennifer Santana. Rainy McKinley Skull. Michael J. Shaughnessy III. Alexandra Eleni Skulakaris. Abigail M. Swick. Adams Tangwe Tsapi. Octavia M. Tate. Ariel N. Thompson. Rhonda L. Tushenko. Amber M. Vondran. Marcelina Wazalewski. Taryn D. White. Rosa E. Wild. Sirapan Sensam. Maria Antonia Zuleta. Congratulations to the graduates, their families, and our faculty, staff, and board. Dr. Sam, board members, faculty, deans, and guests, I have the honor of presenting these candidates for the degrees and certificates to be conferred this morning. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present to you the members of the 2020 graduating class who've completed all the requirements for the degree or certificate to be conferred. And I want to thank them for selecting ECC. Congratulations to all of you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Illinois, I hereby confer upon you 
the degree or certificate being awarded this morning and grant to you all the rights and privileges thereto. On behalf of the college and our community, I offer my congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the graduating class of 2020. Thank you for attending today's program.